we're you know disappointed in the results from this past weekend in Minnesota State. We know it'll be a tough weekend. Uh, they play well in their own building. Uh, they were fifth in team defense uh, last year, and they made it uh, tough for us to get to the net. Uh, obviously, there's way too many penalties being called in these games, and we have to understand uh, what we can do and what we can't do. There's a new standard of play, and we've got to get familiar with that and comfortable with that and, and learn how to stay on the ice. We have to be disciplined, especially on the road. So, um, you know, some good things, some bright things, obviously. Uh, uh, Mitch Rinke uh, continues to play well. Uh, I thought five on five, we held our own and, and carried the play. So we have to try and stay five on five in, in more games and for longer periods of time. Uh, right now, it's just try to stay positive uh, in the locker room. Coach talked to us today. Uh, he just wants us to keep putting the work in uh, and practice every week and uh, keep keep the morale up, keep the boys positive and, and try to go out there and get better every day. And, and I think this is good. I think it's, you know, test early and, and uh, it only makes us stronger for the future. Well, we knew it was going to be a tough start. You know, just looking at the schedule, even in the summer, uh, I think as coaches that we knew we were going into two uh, tough environments, uh, both are home opening weekends. And, um, you know, we knew that. So I think our message to the team at this point is, is stay with the game plan. Uh, keep our focus on what's ahead of us and uh, not what is behind us in the rearview mirror. We can't change the past, but we have something to say about the future. Uh, we've got a lot of important games coming up. Uh, we finally get to play a home series. So I think we're really looking forward to that. I know our players are for sure. One of the things we're going to do is, is show our team the penalties and, and try to educate them on what they're calling. And it can vary from one weekend to, to the next. And I think that was the case this weekend. We went from playing Minnesota Duluth, where it was called a certain way uh, with NCHC refs. And then we went to WCHA and, you know, we talked, you could rap and, and we went down there and you, you couldn't. They called that. So I think that's what that lends to some frustration with it. But uh, I think you'll see that in the early going here until the referees get comfortable with what they're going to call. And then once they get comfortable with what they're going to call, then the players can get comfortable. I think that's the biggest thing right now from weekend to weekend. We're not sure what's going to be called and how, I guess, how it's going to be called. So uh, once that's in order, then uh, we'll be fine.